Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Shamvi. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I know this video is going to be so exciting. A lot of you like yesterday I I just took an Instagram poll asking you guys like whether I should do this video or not and 90% of you voted for yes absolutely go for it so I'm going to be really brief in this video because I want to cover as many brands as possible so if you're living under the rock and if you don't know what's exactly happening Nika is having their annual uh, you know pink sale so they have this huge sale every year uh, it's the nika pink sale obviously they have some amazing deals on so many makeup products uh so yeah guys like this is the time for you like if you're waiting to buy if you just want to save up some money uh you know and buy a few things uh this is the time for you but i know it'll be very confusing and very difficult because many youtubers bloggers like everybody are promoting uh you know the nika sale and you don't know what exactly to buy or if you're like confused as to which ones to buy and which ones not to buy because everybody is promoting everything right now and i don't think that's a you know that's a bad thing because uh, again like this uh, this is the time where you know all the brands want to push their products because they are having this amazing sales so they know that you know more people would be interested to buy and they just want to push their products as well and they use youtubers and bloggers to do it so i don't think there's anything wrong in it but uh, but i know for you know us like consumers if you want to go and buy uh, because uh, there are a lot of things especially in one particular brand some things might be really good and some things might be really some things can be like dud kind of products uh, but yeah so we'll uh, so we'll discuss about that today in this video uh, this video is going to be really long and chatty you know definitely grab some snacks coffee or anything whatever you like and also grab some paper and pen and sit down and watch this video because i know it's going to be a little long than usual so yeah let's get started i'm just going to start off with uh, drugstore makeup first you know first and foremost thing that comes in everybody's mind when you say drugstore is maybelline because maybelline has some of the best products and i know is they also are going to be having some huge discounts so yeah i'm i have you know yeah yeah guys like this is my new phone i'm so happy and glad uh, i'm grateful to have this phone anyways uh, but yeah i'm having the nikas app open and i have come to the maybelline page now when i see here uh, okay the first one is the maybelline superstay matte ink liquid lipsticks now i definitely like this uh, liquid lipsticks and i you know highly recommend you guys to go for it because it's such a nice product like if you it's such a nice like formula as well it's very comfortable and it stays for a very long time like it's just like you said and forget okay you just apply and forget it's that kind of a product you don't have to think about if your lipstick is there if it's gone if it is like all over the place like nothing you just apply it and it just stays for a very very long time so definitely go for it so maybelline uh, color okay creamy mats also another great uh, formula great lipsticks They're only for 300 and i'm sure uh, and i'm sure in the sale you're going to have some amazing discounts so definitely go for it so also the maybelline sensational loaded bowls i have almost all the shades let me know if you guys uh, want me to do lip swatches but uh, these uh, i mean this particular range is also a really nice one it's completely matte it's not like the creamy formula these are comfortable but these are quite matte these are like the retro matte uh, lipsticks from mac so yeah they're very similar to that uh, uh, and the formula is also very good definitely you can go for it um, and then the Maybelline uh, gel kajal I think even that is very nice um, and uh, even in the okay so even in the creamy mats uh, the new ones which is the bricks collection I have already I have already made a video on those so even that one I really like they have some beautiful you know nudes for especially tan and dusky skin tones so definitely check them out um, and I hope they're going to be having some uh, sale on that Maybelline Master Chrome amazing in molten gold the shade is molten gold so definitely go for that shade you will not regret buying it and it's an amazing highlighter i love it till today i use it uh, almost like whenever i want to go for like functions and stuff that is the one uh, you know highlighter that just comes to my mind because it doesn't emphasize my texture it also like gives that intense glow it's so good definitely go for it uh, yeah the fit me blushes are very nice i have in the shade wine and i use it almost every day i'm using i'm also wearing it today on my cheeks so i love it that much 
and again another great product i think it's for 350 or 450 which is again very nice very pigmented and uh, you know it also blends really nice you know once you apply it it just looks amazing even the powder mats from maybelline are good you guys like you definitely like if you like that kind of a finish like definitely go for it and fit me loose powder amazing guys like definite must buy definitely go for it uh, even though i have dry skin like that doesn't dry out my skin the maybelline super safe foundation is my absolute favorite you guys so definitely go for it because it's such a great formula if you want a uh, you know a foundation which has uh, good coverage which covers your acne scars, pigmentation, uh, any of the problematic areas. It has beautiful uh, coverage. It is. It looks so good on your face. And even though I have dry skin, I love it. I know like people say it's for oily skin, but I have dry skin and I absolutely freaking love it. It just sits so beautifully on my face. I know I'm just like <laughs> rambling so much, but I don't know. I just want to like speed up because I have stayed. Uh, I have started doing this video really late today. Thinking. Okay, the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. Another great must have product it's so good definitely go for it uh, let's jump to the next brand which is l'oreal now from l'oreal i would say uh, i used to like their uh, hair products before very much but nowadays i don't know guys like i don't reach out to them that much uh, i don't reach out to them that much and they're also quite pricey so yeah in l'oreal like i recently got the l'oreal paris rouge signature matte liquid lipsticks now these liquid lipsticks they're not like uh you know they're not like this uh you know they're not like a typical liquid lipstick formula the formula is very different uh they ve they feel very lightweight on the lips but uh, they do come off like if you eat anything even if you drink water or anything it just like you know comes off from your lips uh, it has a very decent time period or like a staying period on your lips and uh, it is it is of course it's i i would say it's yeah it is transfer proof uh, but it's not like that transfer proof like the maybelline lipstick the maybelline one is like amazing mm, it doesn't go anywhere even if you eat drink do anything and uh, yeah one thing i would say is a must have is a l'oreal paris uh is the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara now this mascara i've been like purchased i think i've purchased three or four times till now and i love it okay i'm wearing even today and i absolutely love it guys like l'oreal lipsticks are also really nice the l'oreal uh color uh colorish moist matte lipstick i think they are going to be having some sale on that so definitely buy that and yeah another ride or die product is a l'oreal paris base magic transforming smoothing primer this primer is a great primer i have it from such a long time and i've been using it it's so it's so 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 good uh, I, I know you will love it as well so definitely check that out okay guys so other one that I like from the L'Oreal uh, Paris one is the L'Oreal Paris UV protect super aqua essence SPF 50 PA++++ now I have been using this uh, you know sunscreen from quite a bit I think I would say three months now and uh, it's uh, I mean I would say yeah almost three months now and it's such a great sunscreen it is super lightweight it doesn't leave any like that flashback like white flashback on your skin uh, that normally uh, you know uh, normally like other sunscreens do it just goes into your skin and uh, it's really nice it, it also gives really good protection so coming to the lacme uh, you know brand uh, okay the lacme 9 to 5 weightless matte mousse lip and cheek color it's really nice uh, if you want to invest in it definitely go for it but uh, if you have like heavily pigmented lips i would say it's not that great product because it doesn't cover your pigmentation completely but yeah you can use it both on your cheeks uh, cheeks as well as on your lips so yeah it's a very great product and then the La lacme absolute blur primer even that is a great primer i have heard so many people talk about it so check it out and if you see it in sale you can buy that um lacme insta eyeliner again one of my favorites uh, in shade black is like that is something i use i even have today in my vanity so yeah i use that i like it lacme absolute matte melt like lic uh, liquid lipstick uh, i think this thing is really nice like this whole range is really good you can definitely invest in it and they have 30 percent offer so it will come up to uh, 522 525 rupees so something that i am looking for to buy in this sale is the lacme absolute matte revolution lip colors now they have some beautiful shades they have around 20 shades in this range so i definitely will be buying at least a couple of shades 
yeah i think that's it from lacme yeah you can also buy this lacme 9 to 5 uh, primer plus matte lip colors they're only for 500 but in uh, uh, but you know but in sale again you're going to get for really less price so definitely check this out too it's very nice uh, i have like again like around seven or eight lipsticks in that range and i absolutely love it uh so yeah let me see i want to buy even more shades uh from this range but let me see what happens beauty now uh, again guys like uh, katrina kev's brand k beauty which is recently launched on nike even that is going to be on sale as well so if any of you are looking forward to buy definitely i have done a full complete review on my channel both on their you know new eyeshadow sticks as well as the you know the lip products that she's released the first time uh, her kajals and everything so i will say which you you can go for and which you can avoid now, the k beauty matinee matte lipsticks are uh, or lip crayons are something that you can go for but i think uh just recently someday i had just used it for the entire day and like by the time i removed my makeup my lips were so freaking dry it had left uh, it had i had a lot of lines on my lips and all of that so yeah definitely you have to keep applying a good lip balm underneath but because they're extremely drying but it's good you know the product is good it's only for 7.99 again you'll, you you are going to have some uh, great discounts on it why i'm recommending this product is because you know there's again um uh, sugar and all of that but not most of them are like you have to sharpen it so it's not like that easy on the go product this one is retractable so you can definitely keep it in your bag and take them out now again the matte action lip liner is great uh, if you think you know I think the price is a little costly for that but yeah it's a great product again I like it but you know what like this lip liner you can't use it by itself because it is a little chip chip on your lips when you smoosh your lips they definitely like stick to each other the metallic lip topper is something i would say absolutely don't buy it when i did my first video on k beauty so many people were like oh my god like i don't mind i don't want your review you know i'm going going to go and purchase it who are you to tell uh, tell us like which ones to buy and which ones not to buy like <sighs> what then why are you on my channel like watching my review this is my channel and even i have the rights to talk about it uh, all i'm saying is you can you know uh, all i'm saying is these are good products you can invest in them these are bad products do not invest in them and at the end of the day it's your money you watch the reviews and you do whatever your mind says so yeah i'm only here to let you guys know my opinions and how the products worked on me so yeah that just keep that in mind i'm not saying anybody key you have to do it or you don't have to do it i'm not pushing anybody these are just my thoughts and my recommendations so yeah it can be helpful a lot of you and that's why i am doing this now coming to the kajal i really like that gel kajal and the other two i haven't tried the uh, other one the 249 one so i can't say anything about it but the raven hue i did not feel that you know that good so i did not buy it in the first place the eyeshadow sticks again um like if you're a beginner if you don't know how to do makeup at all and if you're like this uh, you know person who just wants something to keep in your bag like on the go kind of product you can definitely check out the eyeshadow sticks otherwise i would say don't don't buy them um so yeah guys i think that's it uh, that's all for uh, k beauty their eye eyebrow products are pathetic don't go for it like you know that's my honest opinion uh, in case again you guys want to go for it you can do whatever you want but yeah uh, that's just that okay guys so let's talk about now the nika's products okay now i will say the nika matte to last uh, liquid lipsticks are amazing if they are on sale like if you like a particular color if they are on sale go grab them because it's very nice and i have not seen uh, you know i have not seen many nika's lipsticks uh, you know many of these matte to last lipsticks in offer every time they only have like two or three shades that are always go on offer but yeah not everything that i have and and uh, the shades, I will say right now, the shades Chai, uh, Madras Kapi, Bombay, uh, Kashi and uh, Maharani are my favorite shades. I definitely will be buying Maharani, the shade Maharani and I just saw it in that, you know, the pink sale. They were like, these, these are the products, you know, few products that will be in offer. And I was like, oh my God, I just screamed when I saw the shade because I wanted to buy the shade from a very long time and I kept on delaying 
telling that okay i'm going to buy it next time next time next time but i'm going to definitely be buying it this time because i think they have around 20 percent or something i don't know uh so yeah i'm going to buy it and uh, guys the masabas uh you know nika lipstick which is in the shade nimbu pani they have 10 percent offer on that definitely grab the shade i just got recently and i was like you know i like yesterday when i saw it i was like oh my god they have offer on this i should have waited a little in a while so i could have got 10 percent off but that's such a beautiful shade definitely go for it um and then the nika wonder puff lip and cheek cushion lipstick tint now i want to buy this but it's not like my uh you know must have or anything so i don't know i haven't had this okay but i have tried it in the store it's a decent product i wouldn't say it's a bad product or anything it's a decent product but again the price point is too high for me so let me see i i still have like uh, a shade i think the shade dream on i wanted to buy in this so let me see if they have um you know if they have uh, that one in sale i will buy it and then the nika's matelicious crayon lipstick uh, in the shade jade rose is my favorite you guys i will definitely buy that if again if it's in sale i will buy that shade definitely um okay the demi matte lip cream lipstick from nika again i have the shade basic it's very nice it's like this you know it's not completely glossy or it's not like completely matte it's just right in between but it looks a little glossier on the you know lips so yeah it's it's a very nice product i have it and i kind of like it um so you, you can go for it okay so the nika molten matte lip and cheek color i will say like yeah it's a dud product and you don't have to buy that product because i just recently swatched it in nika store and i did not like it the formula is so bad and if you have pigmented lips if you are a tan girl then you will definitely not like it uh the formula is very light and uh, even the shades were like okay okay like i saw so so i, I think i swatched like few of the shades and none of them look good you know so yeah the only shade that i liked was rachel but again as i said you know if it doesn't cover up my pigmentation what's the point of it right so yeah i'm i i think you can chuck that product i'm not going to buy it okay the other one is a nika matulust metallic liquid lipstick again another dud product from nika i recently did my uh, i recently did a review on it so i definitely thought i wasted my money on that so yeah i did not like it guys and uh, i think i showed the red shade but the other one which i had the pink shade is so pathetic <sighs> like yeah really regret buying that product okay i think the nika's ultra matte lipsticks are one of the greatest formulas that you know nika has like one of the greatest products that nika has come up with so yeah i have i have around 10 shades uh, in this you know uh, nika's ultra matte uh ultra matte lipsticks and i definitely want to buy more in uh, in that as well so if i find um you know if i find the shades that i am looking for in sale definitely i'm going to buy it and i will say the shade mona lisa i i wanted to buy it from a very long time so yeah i will buy that shade if i find it in sale so the nika skin genius uh, foundation anti-pollution foundation even that is a great product again i think it's a, a very similar product to the maybelline superstay matte ink uh, no yeah maybelline superstay foundation so i felt both of the foundations are quite similar like i have used it constantly uh, so many times and uh, let me tell you like i don't want to hype anybody i'm not here to hype anyone as i said i'm just saying the goods and bads but this foundation is real nice so in case you already have a super stay you know from maybelline and if you're looking for something similar to that if you love that formula definitely check out the nikas uh, nika ones as well because i'm sure you're going to like it i've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this foundation but i don't know guys that i absolutely loved it uh, it just stays beautifully on my skin and uh, i've worn it once in a function and i was like dancing the entire day i like my face was sweating and everything but still it did not leave my face patchy so yeah i really like that foundation nika's uh what what is that the lip lips don't lie lip liners even they are very nice i have i have uh, two shades from that and i really like them um so yeah again if you find that especially the shade pillow talk is a must have so yeah definitely go buy it guys okay i have to tell you this the nika's nail paints okay they are one of the most pathetic ones i have seen in my life these are all nika 
Nika's nail paints. Okay, I have around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I still have around uh, three or four in my nail bag. But yeah, these are all the shades, and I hate these nail paints. Okay, I have matte, I have pastels. These are one of the most pet formula I have ever seen in my life like uh, do you remember like when I was in college I think uh, five or six years back uh, I used to buy these nail paints which were 10 or 20 rupees from the roadside even those are better than these Nika nail paints uh, I hate them and I've spent a lot of money on it I think I had got them in one of the sales I have used I've tried using almost everyone and almost every nail paint like does that it just chips off it just cracks it, ha it, it just leaves some weird bubbles like every time I apply this is the issue it, this is the issue i want my nail polish like i'm a very lazy person in general and i want my nail polish to stay as it is at least for a week and every week i can change a color but if a nail paint just comes off for like within you know uh, i apply now and i just leave it uh, for one two hours and it's already cracked and or it's like chipped off or it just peels off like what uh yeah I, I i did not like it at all i hated these uh nika's nail paints you know again rimmel they have recently launched on nika and and this one the rimmel natural bronzer in the shade i think sunlight yeah in the shade sunlight i have it and i love it it's a great bronzer uh but again on sale you will get great deals so definitely check out uh, check their uh, you know check the bronzer uh, then the rimmel stay matte uh, you know stay matte compact powder or press powder again it's a great product even though i have dry skin you know i enjoy using this powder i don't think it's for oily skin particularly because even though i have dry skin like it has worked out great for me Again guys from the you know Wet n Wild brand their color icon 10, uh, 10 pan eyeshadows must have you can definitely check them out they're only for 500 rupees but again on sale you'll have great discounts the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cast Shoot Matte Lipstick they're also amazing they have like around 10 shades and the formula is great the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation uh, for me because I have dry skin I did not like it as much so i wouldn't say it's a dark product or it's a great product uh, but yeah it was not like a you know a bad product but definitely not a great product for me and then the wet n wild mega last lip color again really nice formula uh, the lip shades are very great so definitely go for it the wet n wild mega glow highlighting powder uh, in the shade i think uh, precious petals i want that from a very long time and i'm checking it out like if i if this comes in sale i will definitely buy the shade precious petals um okay guys so now this one the wet n wild mega glow contouring palette they have an offer on that so they're going to be having offer on that so definitely buy it now the i have the shade dulce de leche or dulce de leche i don't know how to say it but yeah they have uh, that one and I have that one and I love it okay I use it like even today I used to like just contour my face a little bit I absolutely love it and uh, when I was like freelancing uh, you know I, I used to do freelancing before and I used this particular palette on so many of my brides and it just looked amazing and again you have caramel toffee another great shade for uh, you know dusky skin tones tan dusky skin tones so yeah check out that uh the wet n wild color icon blushes i really did not like them now i don't have the shade mellow wine so many people have said the shade mellow wine is really great but other shades they don't appear or they don't yeah they don't appear on my skin tone or on my face in general so yeah i did not like them um yeah the wet n wild photo focus concealer a great concealer uh if you have dry skin as well it works amazing so definitely check out the wet n wild photo focus natural finish setting spray one of my uh, favorite setting sprays but the only problem is the spray doesn't work as of now but yeah it's a great product yeah this one the wet n wild color icon lip liner uh, it's only for 135 without sale so in sale you can uh get it for even more lesser prices so that is also very very nice uh guys this one the wet and wild color icon ombre blushes i would say those are the big dud because 
it does not it does not work on me okay all you get is the shimmer if you apply that it just feels like you have applied highlighter all over your face and it doesn't look good so yeah that's a great dart and i don't think you have to invest in it and also this uh, wet and wild uh, illuminator i think illuminating primer that is a great product i think it's a great due for a max uh, what is that gold light and uh, yeah if you can't invest in that definitely go for this it's a very nice product and it just like looks beautiful on my face as well okay, wet and wild mega last liquid cat suit uh, liquid eyeshadow is also really great uh, so you can definitely check that out uh, but i think the swiss beauty ones are better than the wet and wild one so yeah I think Pack Cosmetics also is a great brand. So I'm looking forward to buying so many from Pack. I want to buy the Pack Micro Finish Makeup Fixer. Uh, I want to buy more lashes from Pack, the Mink lashes especially. Uh, I will say uh, the Pack Takeover Concealer is an absolute must-have product, and it's really great. So definitely go for it. I'm just going to link it right over here. But anyways okay the pack retro matte gloss again another great lipstick i just bought it recently and i love it the pack spotlight concealer is also very great if you want if you're looking for a much natural concealer uh, even for like dry skin because i have dry skin go for pack takeover concealer looking for a very like glamorous full coverage kind of a concealer definitely go with the spotlight one it's very very nice okay i also have this pack soft matte lip cream in the shade nutcracker and again guys like that formula the packaging everything is so freaking good and i definitely want to buy more shades from that because i absolutely loved almost every shade that i saw the pack uh, sweet sensation lip cream even that's a great product it's a due for uh, nyx soft matte lip cream definitely go for the pack one instead of the you know nyx one because the nyx as i said you know it's, it doesn't have that much of pigment in it now the biotique one i don't think i'll be buying anything from biotique first and for first and foremost the biotique makeup it did not impress me and i did not like the fact that they came up with three different range like in like an affordable range a medium range and the high range uh like even the affordable range was quite expensive i would say for biotique because for some reason i've always thought biotique as like this you know a uh, cheap product like not cheap in the uh, ways i'm not saying i'm not talking about the formula but i'm talking about the price uh so yeah i'll definitely not be buying anything from biotique even their say skincare and everything they don't appeal to me that much i have bought before but they have not like you know given me miraculous results or anything so yeah i'll not be uh, investing anything from biotech uh, okay faces canada guys uh, i think in faces canada a must have product is huh. so guys i have this faces canada all time pro matte intense matte lip press uh, lip press lips plus primer and uh, i have in the shade tea rose so uh, i have another shade which is called as rock cocoa rock cocoa i guess and that is my favorite uh, so yeah these lip crayons are amazing again they're retractable and uh, it just stays like once you put they don't they don't transfer it just stays in place and it lasts for a very long time on your lips as well so i really like them definitely go for these ones if not anything at least these ones and coming to the milani you guys i don't know why like nobody talks about milani now milani is a great 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 product i know it's quite expensive but it's one of the best products now the milani conceal and define foundation is so good i have it so definitely if you get that one in sale i think you have that in sale so if you get that in pink sale grab it uh the milani uh a more soft matte lip cream oh my god the shades in that entire range is so freaking good but the only problem i have is they kind of crumble after two hours or something so that is the only issue that i have but other than that like the entire range they have such beautiful shades you wouldn't see anywhere so yeah you can definitely invest in them i have like around five or ten shades honey blushes are amazing both their powder blushes and baked blushes are amazing you can definitely invest in them milani bronzers i have uh, i think i have uh, some sunlit bronzer and i have the big excel bronzer so even that like it's so good definitely invest in them and i have uh, this one more bronzer which i 
has just launched recently i think i'll be buying that and i also will be buying the satin kind of you know formula of the milani liquid lipstick so yeah i'll be buying those ones as well like i have an eye on them and i definitely want to purchase that uh, yeah uh, let me quickly because the light is going down so let me uh, quickly talk about the high end okay uh, so the first one is huda beauty i know a lot of you ask like you know are uh, intrigued about huda beauty i think huda beauty is going to have like one of the amazing offers on this sale uh, so i think huda beauty is going to sell out uh, so definitely check out for them now uh, i am wearing uh, the huda beauty's liquid lipsticks uh, liquid lipstick in the shade uh, trophy wife so i think their liquid lipstick formula is great uh, you can absolutely like trust and go and buy those liquid lipsticks they are very comfortable they just dry down completely it's transfer proof um it lasts for a very long time so yeah, i absolutely love them and uh, i think the huda beauty lashes especially the sh uh, lash samantha is a must have okay it's a must have lash and i uh, i have used that lash for about one and a half years now and i have like completely ruined it i want to buy another one so definitely in this sale if i find that one i'm just going to grab it uh and then the huda beauties uh you know eyeshadow palettes now huda beauties eyeshadow palettes the, are the best one uh because the formula is great two the packaging is amazing three uh it's huda beauty and she always comes off with this you know even the the colors that she puts in the whole packaging everything looks so appealing but i have i think i have done a video before on uh, comparing the huda beauty rose gold palette and aphrodite palette and i've said both are very similar but it's huda beauty guys and yeah i you know i am one of those persons like who i know like it's ridiculously priced and everything but i always go back to huda beauty buying huda beauty products so yeah it's just like that it's just like i don't know like there's something about huda beauty i just love her i uh you know she's my biggest inspiration like ever since i started my youtube channel like even before that she was being my one of my biggest inspirations for you know me doing this uh youtube and everything so i don't know i just have some soft corner for her and i always i'm attracted to her products and um uh, yeah her eyeshadow palettes are really nice especially the rose gold remaster now because i have the older one which is a rose gold palette and i'm using it even today like if i want to go to any functions or anything that is a one palette that just like comes to my mind uh so it is a very versatile palette you can create so many looks so in those bigger palettes if you want to buy any one definitely you can go with the uh what is that the rose gold one because it has a lot of shades you can do so many looks with that ah, ah, and the huda beauty foundation the four filter foundation i would say i don't think you need to buy that foundation because it just lives weird uh you know it just makes emphasizes your texture it just makes your face look so weird and aged so i don't like it guys i don't like their foundation and i have dry skin okay my sister has oily skin she hated it one of my friends she also has normal to dry skin and even she hated it now uh, she said that it just oxidized on her and yeah this foundation does oxidize on your face it just looks weird and gray after a while it just emphasizes your texture and everything and for that much of a price i really think it's not the great product so definitely you can you know chuck the product and buy something else uh and what i'm i'm looking forward in buying huda beauty is their uh definitely the demi matte uh, liquid lipsticks i know i have seen the, it's already in the pink sale so i'm going to buy at least one of them definitely her uh, power bullet lipsticks i will be buying at least two shades uh which is third date and uh, graduation day those two were like beautiful when i swatched them in nika lux store this uh, those two were like so amazing and good i'm definitely going to be buying that so also they have this lux savings on night on lux kits and they have the karma ayurveda limited edition kits i think they have this brightening kit and everything you can buy karma ayurveda it's it's a great brand and i have loved so many i think especially their rose water spray is really nice the lip balm is really good uh, their body like toners and stuff like uh, toning uh, oils and everything those are nice their kunkumadi 
oils are good so yeah you can definitely buy them and this one which is the mac uh you know red matoholic kit relentlessly red retro matte uh, red, retro matte lipstick and feel so grand liquid lipstick so yeah these two are a great buy guys like if you like reds and if you like to invest in mac because you're going to uh, have a discount i mean they're going to reduce the price for 700 rupees you're going to save 700 rupees so definitely you can go with that it's a great great uh you know kit i would say uh and then also the clinic uh what is that clinic more than moisture set they have the moisture search i think it's the full bottle of moisture uh, moisture search you they have this uh i think toner mist and i think something else but yeah the whole kit you're only getting for 2700 i think only the moisturizer is for 2300 or 2500 but yeah i really like the you know moisture search so definitely you can go for it and then they have this one i think this one is the smashbox liquid okay smashbox mini liquid lip kit it's only for 900 bucks and i think malvika sitlani is the face of it you know they are kind of because they're selling two of her uh, favorite nudes one is the stepping out shade and uh, i think the other one which she absolutely loves i don't know which shade is that but yeah uh it's her kit and they are selling two you know mini lipsticks okay so i'm i don't know i don't know how to tell this but i really don't like the smashbox uh you know always on liquid lipsticks and i'm not i'm just not saying this i wanted to tell this from a very long time but i wanted to make like a separate video where i talk about all the high-end products that are like hyped up that you don't have to buy or those are like not the great products that you should buy uh so i really wanted to make a you know video on that but uh, yeah anyways finally i am doing it today and i know that is her uh, you know with her with like collaboration with her and i don't want to be rude or anything but it's just the fact you know when i said i wanted to do this uh video uh i was like okay i have to talk about it or else it's not going to do any justice for this video i know a lot of you are like uh, yeah i'm going to go and buy the uh, you know smashbox the mini ones uh so it's such a nice thing to see like people supporting youtubers products or youtubers collaborated products uh they want to buy them and everything so it's so good but you know i just want my subscribers to know the real tea and how a product is so you can make your own choice now i'm not saying anybody to buy or not to buy because this is what it is so you can decide whether or not to buy the products okay i have seen so many people not only malvika promoting it like so many people uh my favorites like you know desi perkins and all of them like promoting these lipsticks uh this is always on liquid lipstick so these are all smashbox always on liquid lipsticks and uh, i have the shade babe alert blast off stepping out boss chill zone and i think i have other shades as well i don't know i'm so confused okay i don't know where other shades went but yeah i'm just going to swatch like a few like all the shades and i'm just going to show you what i'm talking about now uh, yeah you're getting this shade which is called as a shade stepping out right so i'm just going to swatch that shade so the only problem that i have with this one is that i don't know if you guys can see this is such a dried up lipstick and i don't know if this comes like this because i have forgotten how this was and let me show you okay hmm. so that's how it looks it it is kind of like this powdery matte kind of a formula uh it's not uh you know it just gets dried up in the tube so often and i'm so pissed at it it's not even guys it's not even uh, been it's been like almost one more than a year that's it and i have lipsticks more than two years and they still work okay as i said the huda beauty lipsticks i have them almost for two years or more than two years and they work and this is the shade boss okay this is the shade boss and i'm going to show you bows or bows or anything so look at that like i don't know can you guys see i don't know how um you know how i can show you but it's dried up guys like it's completely dried up if i want to apply it look at that it's completely dried up can you see these lipsticks I think the shade Boss was one of my favorite shades 
and i don't think i've used this more than i think i've used this around three or four times that's it that's it and this is the issue and i have stopped using it because of this because after me purchasing this for after three or four months it's got dried up in the tube and i was like so confused i was like what the hell is this man like this is not cheap this is so freaking costly i don't know how much exactly this one is it's almost around 2000 i guess uh so yeah it's really expensive and i have products like as i said you know more than two years uh something like that and they have still been working out great for me and this one is just like dried out and uh, those lipsticks i'm talking about are cheaper than these lipsticks and it's still like working great and i'm not that kind of a person you know who just like keeps on wearing them and finishes each lipstick by three months or four months i'm not that kind of a person i want to have a lot of options and like buy and then buy. like I, I want to i like to have a lot of options so i'm not the kind of person who wears uh, the same lipstick every every day until unless like i'm like obsessed with it i don't wear each and every day uh if i'm wearing continuously for a week i just switch up and use other lipsticks because a lot of them i have a lot of them in my collection and i just want to like use everything and see how it looks and that's also my uh you know job as well and that's how i like it uh so yeah i i like to do that and almost every shade is so freaking it just gets dried up and i'm telling you if i leave this you know especially this boss shade it's already dried up okay it's already dried up look at that there's nothing it's just dried up and whatever was remaining uh you know it's just showing that the shade was so pretty when i got it it was like this bright blue tone shade look at that now right uh so i'm going to show this one as well this is a shade babe alert i i got all of them from nika and i thought okay because i got from nika might be they were selling fake products and that's the problem with nika i went and swatched in sephora and the formula was exactly like this so uh and this is the shade babe alert i know the formula is like that but they just get dried up in the tube and i want my lipsticks and you know it like it's like if you apply continuously for 5 to 6 days it feels like there's no product inside which sucks and other than that you guys the formula is great it stays so beautifully on the lips uh you know it lasts also for a very long time it is very comfortable everything like everything is good except this one and i hate it because it's almost like i am paying so much of money and if it just is getting dried up in the tube it's so irritating and annoying uh so yeah i did not like that and uh, that's the reason this is a dud product for me and uh, now it's up to you whether you want to buy it so, uh, and i i love so many other products from smashbox you guys so uh, the smashbox studio skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation is one of my favorite foundations and i highly recommend this to everyone especially if you want to go with like high end foundation a very natural looking foundation this is a great foundation and it doesn't dry up my uh, dry up my skin so yeah that's like really nice i absolutely love it and and then i have so many other favorites from smashbox especially their primers are great uh, so again if if that like comes out in sale definitely buy it if the foundation comes out in sale definitely buy it so again a lot of you i think uh, are interested in bobby brown products and to be honest i have not used much of bobby brown products so yeah guys i think uh, okay the, uh, also benefit is having a great uh, you know kit uh, you're getting pro professional you're getting a mini size mascara the real uh, mascara and the pull up bronzer so yeah i think it's a great uh, you know buy because they're having 30% off on that kit also the blue heaven elegance matte lip color in the shade 11 i said that's my absolute favorite nude especially the entire range is really nice they have another again offer on that so definitely check that out okay the nika just wink it you are getting it for 1049 rupees so i would say it's not a bad deal guys like you can definitely go and buy it uh, because uh, the pigmentation is great uh, it's not it's not something that you won't get in other palettes you will definitely get it in other palettes but yeah if you want to invest in nika's uh, like nika own brand uh, the nika beauty brand then yeah this is a really nice product okay i have done an entire video on my mac uh, you know definitely go and check that out but i love almost everything i love the lipsticks almost all the lipsticks i love their uh, I love the highlighter. I have the soft and gentle highlighter. I love the bronzers. I, I love the Studio Fix uh, Compact. It's my favorite. I have it in my everyday bag. 
and I use it on my everyday basis. I have the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. That's also my favorite. I have the Gold Light uh, Illuminator. That's my favorite. Or Primer. That's my favorite. I have the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. That's my absolute favorite. So yeah, MAC, like, I have so many things I love from MAC. And I absolutely, I think it's one of the great investments. You can definitely go and buy it. Coming to Glam Glow, I would say, like, I like a few of the products from Glam Glow. Especially, yeah, the Brightening Mask is great from Glam, Glam Glow. The Hydrating Mask is great from glam glow i think those are the two masks that i will highly recommend you guys to check out and then yeah i also do want to buy the the glowing the what do you say i don't know my internet is not working so no which is in nude glow and that one i definitely want to buy it not just for you know applying it below my makeup but also on daily basis like if i don't want to buy any makeup that looks absolutely gorgeous so i definitely want to invest in that and i want to buy that so definitely if they have sale on that or if they have any good offers on that i will buy i will buy that one definitely but yeah guys so that's it that's it for the end of this video so let me know if you guys want to know anything in particular like any brand or anything i will do that uh, next time let me know in the comment section down below and this was such a you know quick video i just had to like pull out my camera sit in front of the camera and just talk so i'm really sorry if i rambled anywhere or, or if i was like too long or anything i will make this video as like as compact as possible uh, so i'll just take leave now and uh, definitely i'll come back and i'll do another video if possible in the middle or i'll show you what all products that i got for myself so that will also be helpful for you to like you know in uh, going and buying stuff if you like this video definitely give this video a huge thumbs up and uh, also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and as usual guys i will catch you again next time with another interesting and you know really great video until then you all know the drill keep slaying i love you all so much bye guys